of those nights when there was no moon, no stars, just plain darkness. I couldn't see a thing. I've seen some dark nights in my time, but this was just about the darkest one. And then a coyote wolf began howling. <laughs> No. Well, maybe a little at first. But I figure that being afraid of the dark only means that you have a good imagination. And if you have a good imagination, you can imagine good things. <laughs> well, what did you think of? Oh, things like riding a sled down a long, snowy hill and lying on my back watching the birds make lazy circles. But then something terrible happened. What? My nose began to itch. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it was something terrible. It was. I told you it was dark. Well, it was so dark, I couldn't find my nose to scratch it. <laughs> well, that nose kept itching and itching, and my finger kept missing and missing, and it just about drove me crazy. So I had this big problem, and I didn't know what to do. Now, who knows what to do when you have a big problem? You talk it over with somebody. Right, Corey. Well, there wasn't anybody there to talk to except my horse, Arrow. So I told Arrow my problem, and before you knew it, well, I'll show you. <laughs> Arrow, old friend, my nose is itching. <laughs> Troopers they must be in the area. Dad, that's why we sent for you. We've been finding signs of the horde for days. That's strange. Ah, watch out! Look out! Oh, dearie, my. Oh, let's try that plan then again. <laughs> You're getting better at your landings, Madam Raz. Of course I am. I hit the exact tree I aimed for. <laughs> so, they are all here now. Good. <laughs> the leaders of the rebellion are all near the village. When the Cave of Winds is open, the winds will destroy in the Whispering Woods, and the rebels will have no place to hide. Excellent! Open the Cave of Winds! Nothing can stop us. Unleash the Cave of the Winds. It's almost as if the Cave of Winds has opened. Get 
back to the village. I'll join you later. This way. Are you sure this is wise? We would be much safer using the wood to block the doors. This way they won't reach the doors. All right, now! By my good right arm, that was easy as... against using those logs. By my grandfather's beard, I'll listen to you next time. If, if, if there is a next time. Looks like we're needed, Swiftwind. Hold steady now. Shira, you're the answer to a prayer. Uh, two prayers. Glad to help. Let's get out of here. No walls will stand up to the winds of underground. They will not save you from the horde. won't stand up to much of this. It will if we can help. Queen Angela's magic will be more than a match for this wind. If we can last that long. You think we can do it, Swifty? Let's find out. You think you can hold off the horde until we get back? I guess we'll have to, won't we? Good luck. Same to you. Bright moon! Up, swift wind! Higher! We have to get above the storm! So, you think you can help, Shira? My winds are stronger than your steed's wings. You will never reach bright moon in time. What a kite feels like. On swift wind. On to. What is it? It's, it's like a floating island. Oh, no, you don't. That's, they don't break. I can't get away. They won't let go! We've got to get loose! If we can just breathe... 
break out of this. Shira will bring help. She's probably on her way back right now. I have to get out of here. Swift Wind, he's in trouble. Sorry, friend. <laughs> are in danger. I have to get help. Can't you understand me? It may be too late already. I can't go on much more. What we need is defense. Can you weave a wall of your power? I haven't enough power. <laughs> if you and Madame Raz work together, our only chance. Let's try. Now, for my very best house cleaning spell. Now take my hand, dearie. Together, we'll have more power. A spell is working! This isn't gonna last, Bo. My power is running out. My friends need me, and I can't help. I know something terrible is happening to them. What am I to do? Tears. You are crying. Is it possible that you are a being like us and can feel sorrow and love? Of course. We thought you were just a fighting creature like those that live down below. They don't feel love. They aren't human. Oh, but they are. Some of them are my friends, and they're sweet and gentle. And now something awful has happened to them because you wouldn't let me help them. I told the vines to stop you. But I only wanted your flying animal. You see, this Skyland will not last much longer. All the glide trees that hold it up are dying. Soon we will fall. There is another Skyland out there, but it is too far away for us to reach by gliding. We thought your animal could carry our children to safety. We never meant to cause sorrow to you or to harm your friends. <laughs> But I must leave here and see if I can help my friends. Shira! It is 
our fault that your friends are in such danger. Is there any help that we can give you? Thank you. Perhaps we can help each other. I have you now. The rebellion is finished. Hang on, Glimmer. You can do it. I can't. My power's almost gone. I was hoping Sheila would come. And so was I. It is good of you to help us, Shira. But if your friends are in danger, you must help them first. In helping you, believe me, I'll be helping my friends. Come on, Swifty. We haven't any time to lose. <laughs> Such a blowhard shadow weaver. Get her. You may have won this time, Shira, but as Adora can tell you, nothing defeats the horde. We will win. In the end. You're wrong, Shadow Weaver. In the end, goodness always will win over evil. I guess they'll be too busy cleaning rust off themselves to attack for a while. I don't know where we'd have been without your help. And I couldn't have done it without their help. If you stop fighting and ask for help, you can usually find someone who'll help you. <laughs> you know, Shira, sometimes I think you're almost as wise as I. Hi, it's me again, Loki. Did you find where I was hiding today? If not, try again. Can you see me? Here I am. Take a look at these two flowers. You see that they look different, but they're both beautiful. People are like that, too. If you meet someone who looks different from you, remember, that person is beautiful, too. Just like you. 